and Dallas Green will be a very emotional and beautiful moment for the show. Um, this is Sally Cato, our partner from CBC. Um, this is our first year back with CBC after 16 years. We're absolutely thrilled to be back with Ken, a national public broadcaster. Um, it's not just about the broadcast with CBC. They've actually been helping us with our entire sort of network of what Karis and uh, the Jews represents. And for those of you who don't know, um, we're not just an award show. We're a lot more than that. We have an education charity called Music Counts. It's put $11 million with instruments into school music programs from literally coast to coast to coast. Uh, we just announced this week $725,000 of instruments going to 80 schools, 110,000 of that right here in the British Columbia. So part of the things that we do uh, to help sort of get artists going in their careers very early on. We also have a thing called the Allen Slate Juno Master Class. It's an artist, develop, uh, artist development program. And the concept of that is we want to help get the artists to the Juno stage and help them in their careers get ready. Obviously, you know about the Junos. The last piece is the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. We have a partnership with the National Music Center at Studio Bell in Calgary, the physical home of the National or the uh, Hall of Fame. And this year's inductees, Bernie and Ladies, we're thrilled to add them to the list of now 51 people inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'm going to hand over to Sally for a couple minutes. Thank you. Um, you know, I think for us, it's just tremendously exciting for the first time in 15 years, the GNO is back, uh, it's home on the CDC, and uh, as uh, Canada's national public broadcaster, and a uh, place that just supports all of the art. It's been an incredible partnership already. I think the exciting thing for us, too, is that, as Alan said, it's not just about one award tonight, it's 365 days a year. We are supporting the music together and shining a light on the incredible talent in this country. So I think it's, uh, it's exciting also because we are going to be the first time ever live across the country, um, not only on CBC, but also on well, television and radio, but also on uh, live streaming around the world. Um, CBCmusic.ca and YouTube and Facebook. So we really feel like we are celebrating and shining a light on um, everywhere and, and creating an experience for the country to really come together and share that experience together uh, live. So we couldn't be more thrilled. Like I say, all artists, all genres of music, all the time. And that's what CBC represents, and that's what the Junos represent. Um, you're going to get a chance to see uh, a fantastic performance shortly. Um, one thing I do want to mention to everybody is, once we actually get to the venue, um, the, the show is almost sold out, by the way. But once we get here, and the stage is built, everything's in, we got to start to see sort of production holes, different areas around the venue that we currently have locked off for cameras and sound and lights. Um, at noon today, we do have a new block of tickets that are going to be getting released. Some fantastic seats are coming available for our Sunday night shows. So please let people know a new block of tickets available at noon today. Can you talk a little bit about the red carpet and what the lineup is going to look like when the Yeah, it's, you know, um, first I just want to say thanks to the people of Vancouver for actually having us and the mayor and city council for allowing us to put it on the viaduct. Uh, I know it's going to be a bit of a convenience for the city, uh, but I do hear that by it's getting torn down, so we're a bit of a, a test run for it. Um, but it is a massive red, uh, red, uh, red carpet tent. It's about 200 feet long. Um, artists will come down West Georgia around BD to a drop off. There's a bit of a walkway. Uh, 75 to 80 media on the red carpet will be there. Uh, and then after the red carpet, artists will join us in the red carpet lounge and the sports bar. Anyone else? Any other questions? So early. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple more minutes before we head down. So if you have any additional questions, let us know, um, and then it's, we'll uh, we'll head down in a couple minutes. Thanks for coming, everybody. Thank Good to have you here. Yeah. 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 Yeah.